This is what God has bestowed upon important men since the beginning of time. Not just important men, all men. The men in the Titanic as the boat was going down, about to be sucked into the icy cold water. Some of the last thoughts in those men's head, I know, I know, was at least I saw my daughter and my wife get on that boat. Absolutely. I'm happy to plunge into this ice cold water because there they are on that boat away from danger. Everyone we love and everyone in the world who we care about was taken care of. And I said, Andrew, would you rather us both be at liberty, but someone else in our life suffer? Mum, suffer. Our kids, suffer. The Never. mothers of our children, Never. suffer. No, I'm glad it was me. I'm glad I was the one who was suffering and everyone else was okay because that's what being a man means. When you're a man, absolutely you're right. It is our job to suffer so the people around us do not suffer. And that's why if you're a man and you're waking up every day and you're not trying your very best to be important or upgrade yourself or upgrade your character or you're lacking motivation, then you have a serious problem because it is your job to be capable of dealing with the insurmountable pressure which God is going to put upon you so that when you suffer, everyone around you does well. Our lives are set up that even if they throw us in a dungeon today, everybody we love will be okay forever. And that is what's most important. That's the most important thing. That's success. And that was absolutely comforting in jail when we discussed that and we said, everyone we love is okay. You and I just have to make it through this. And that's absolutely and utterly comforting. If you're a man sitting at home right now, you need to sit and say, okay, if they plucked me from my life, if they picked me up and threw me in a room and locked me in a jail cell. Which can happen. Which can happen to anybody, especially as they continue these matrix attacks on masculinity as a whole. Would your wife have a roof over her head? Would your children eat? Would your family be okay? Think about these things. This is what you're working for. You're not working to make money so you can buy a Lamborghini. You're working to make money. You're thinking outside the box and becoming the best version of yourself so all the people around you will always be okay no matter what happens. It is your job as a man to suffer. And we did our job fantastically, absolutely as we should. And we always will. And everybody around us was okay. And that is extremely comforting in times of hardship because we're built to suffer. We were absolutely not really good suffering. No matter how close I came to crying inside of that jail cell, I knew all the people around me were safe and all the people around me could eat. And that's all I cared about. I used my phone calls. When I would call other people and they were asking me how I was, I'd say, we don't want to talk about me. How are you? Are you okay? Are you okay with the media pressure? Are you okay? Is your, are your bills paid? Do you have money? Are, are, can you eat? I'm in a jail cell in Romania making sure that everyone I love is okay. I don't need them to sit and worry about me. I worry about them. I sat in a jail cell making sure I could fix the problems for the people I love outside in the free world from a dungeon. That is what a man does. And you must prepare and set up your life for that. You must be prepared to be plucked from life and understand that everybody around you who once relied on you will still be relying on you even when you sit in that jail cell. It's still up to you. You are still the man of the household. You are still the top G of your life. Only you. And if you don't pay the bills, who's going to do it? Your wife's just going to walk home, get a job, get like five jobs and raise your kids. How's she going to do that? You must be prepared for these things. That is what you're working for. So you wake up every day as a man and you say, I don't have motivation to become strong. I don't want to work hard and get rich. I don't want to try and become financially free. What you're saying is that the second you disappear, the second you disappear from your matrix control job, everyone who loves you and respects you and relied on you is going to starve. How can you live that way as a man? Absolutely not. We unacceptable.